Here are some tips about how not to get blisters. 20% likelihood that I'm actually gonna have it. Those not good. These shoes, still wet. Morning Trainiacs. It is 20 to eight on Sunday morning and I have one of the longest runs of my training block. Uh, an hour and 40 minutes in rain, 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 rain. Nothing but rain, pure rain. Like we're talking just straight up rain. Not even spritzing, not sprinkling, not a shower, rain. I got an idea for how to deal with it though. Here, here. How's this for a fashion statement of the year, huh? Yeah, yeah, we got, we got my not so nice gym shorts. As we normally start off with, wind on the outside layer, and then insulation on the inside layer, so I'll be nice and toasty. And then this garbage bag will keep me nice and dry in the core, and I'll probably cut about 10 pounds like a boxer. Win, win, win. Hello, folks. Throw on a hat to keep the rain out of my face. Add on a pair of windproof gloves, and I think odds are like 20% likelihood that I'm actually gonna have an enjoyable run. Wish me luck. Trainiacs, that there was, uh, that was, that was a fairly wet run. Yeah, it was not good. These shoes, still wet. Bag full of wet clothes, still wet. Ruining all the other dry clothes that are in the laundry hamper. All right, I got a blister. Happens when you run in wet weather. Now, here are some tips about how not to get blisters. Don't do what I did and get a blister. You know what, I should really turn this into one of those YouTube channels that like pops blisters and pimples and gets bazillions of views. Number one, your shoes. Get proper fitting shoes. You want a fair bit of room all around here, like a half a thumb width all around here in the toe box. You want some good room because if you're rubbing there or you're rubbing here or up there, odds are pretty good you're gonna get a blister. Also, when you find a pair of shoes that are blister free that you know work, Stick with them. I did not stick with them. These, hey, quite on set. These, I know that they aren't my go-to shoes, but I figured I would be a genius and be like, hey, look, I'm a half a centimeter higher up off the ground. I'm gonna be so dry. Didn't work, and I got a blister. Next thing, either keep your feet dry with something like baby powder that soaks up a lot of the excess moisture and causes heat and friction, I'm a big fan of baby powder because it actually helps toughen up your feet a little bit, making them less likely to get blisters, or keep your feet lubed with something like Body Glide. Body Glide or something like Vaseline, that will help create a little bit less friction. However, don't create so much that your foot ends up slipping and actually causing more friction and more rubbing. So because of that reason that there's a really fine line that you gotta play with lube, I tend to go with baby powder if I want my feet to have a little bit of help. I've never done this, not a big fan. Now, socks. If you find that you're really, really susceptible to blisters, don't go with cotton socks. Cotton socks absorb moisture and that moisture causes blisters. Now, if you wanna go get yourself some moisture wicking socks, go for it. However, traditional runners might make a little bit of fun of you because they're really hardcore and they're like, cotton socks from Walmart, that's all I use. Or, or what you can do is go with two 
pairs of socks. And what ends up happening is the friction actually happens in between the two socks. Not bad, eh? And then finally, you can tape or band-aid up the areas of your feet that tend to get kind of beat up. This tends to be the gold standard for a lot of people, especially long, long ultra marathon runners. However, I'm not a really big fan of it because it's like a crutch that your feet actually don't toughen up and develop the blisters that it needs to. Uh, and it's one more thing that could potentially cause friction. There's a lot of people that have done taping jobs that they do 99 times and the hundredth time they do it just a little bit off and that little bit ends up creating the worst blister of their life. Now, the method that I'm the biggest fan of that I'm suffering through today is just to tough it up, buttercup. The more you can run in really basic stuff and get your body used to all of that basic stuff and maybe go through a couple tough bouts with blisters, the tougher your feet are gonna be and the less likely they're going to be to develop blisters because you're gonna have yourself a gnarly set of feet that are gonna be so calloused up that no blister would even dare setting up shop on your feet. That is my recommendation. All right, okay, all right Pete, look at you. You've been going barefoot and dealing with blisters all your life and now no blisters because he's got like that much tough skin. I have the toughest skin, Dad. I know you do, Pete.